mentioned is Antonsen with the walkover against the Thai player, Sensom Boonsuk. And now turning our attention, talking of ties, we've another coming to the court. Supanyu Avihingsanon in our sixth match here. The Thai player, ranked 28th in the world, will take on Indonesian Anthony Sinasuka Ginting, the 12th seed. So you see them walking to the court, led out by the Thai. Supanyu Avihingsanon. Played 18 tournaments this year, 14 and 13, his record wins to losses. He beat uh, Nishimoto as the fifth seed and lost to Sugiato at the Thai Open recently, making the semi-finals there. He was the runner-up at the Vietnam Open 2017, the man in black who led the way. Three quarter-final showings as well for him, just the other side of the umpire's chair, the Swiss Open, ladies and masters, and the Thai Masters as well. He's been as high as 26th in the world. That was back in June of this year, so he's two spots off his career high. And again, no head-to-head -head, uh, showing between these two, unusually. This is an uh, upcoming match from the bottom half of the draw. Anthony Ginting electing to receive. So the warm-up just about to get underway then. Supanyu Avihingsanon won the Summer Universiade Games in 2011 in Shenzhen in China. Beat Wen Kai in the final there. 21-18, 21-16 to take gold medal. 28 years old right now is Avihingsanon. Two spots off of that uh, career high ranking then. The man from Bangkok. Lives in the Thai capital, five foot eleven tall. That equates to one meter eighty-one. And he's had a good year, as I say, in terms of results. He's right up there, top thirty. However, this young baby-faced Anthony Ginting is one heck of a player. Seeded twelfth and ranked twelfth. He's been as high as nine in the world. That was in February. And uh, well. He's the boy wonder, five foot seven, born in Simahai, West Java. The fourth of five siblings. When he was young, he joined the famed club in Bandung, West Java. And he only started to take part at tournaments around nine years old, two years after he was scouted. Fast forward a lot, and he's had a fruitful 12 months. He's uh, 16 and 11 this year. Wins to losses with two titles, the Korean Open and the Indonesian Masters as well. So it's been a good year for Anthony Ginting, who on paper should come through this one, having uh, under half the ranking of his opponent. That's normally a good sign, but you never know. And sometimes it's just awkward, isn't it, against a player that you've never played before. So one tour title to the man in red's name. That was at the Korean Open last year. He took out Jonathan Christie, his countryman. 22-20 and the decider to become champion for his first Super Series title it was back then. On my right, Su Pan Yu, Liu Yun in the chair from China and, and the service left, judge Tiu Qian Ju of Malaysia. Indonesia. Su Pan Yu, Sanong to serve Lamo. So the tie to get us underway in this men's first round clash from the foot of the draw, Lee Chong Wei looming. Well, no doubt these guys will have just kept an eye, a beady eye, on Kenta Momota's progress in the last match and just an appreciation of just how good the Japanese left-hander is. And, but when you watch players like that, not that perhaps they'll have watched too much, but they'll just be aware of the score and as regards their warm-up. 
then you would imagine that you kind of drink in that quality and try to emulate some of the skills of the former world number two. Ginting a very good player in his own right, though. Oh, it's in. Yeah, hands down from the Lions judge. Hinting with a uh, judgment call mistake there. But he's got a lovely uh, nonchalant look, rather like Momota actually, in the way that he plies his trade. He doesn't give a lot away facially. Sometimes breaks into a smile. And kind of semi smash there from Ginting. Runner up in the Vietnam what? Open to push it, uh, push it, Petrad up. And straight games for the silver medal. In Vietnam last year was. Another hinks them off. Wonderful smash put away. players just probing, feeling their opponents out in terms of what they do, their set plays, their strengths and weaknesses. Ginting, though, with unbelievable speed, agility, super control and sublime net play he has. Very good at taking it so early at the net. That's the key for all these athletes. Who's going to challenge that? Electing not to, though, Ginting. Swallowing the call, must have seen a little space himself. Probably knew as soon as he made contact, whether it was in or out, these guys are so measured with the way that they feel the shuttle. Well, that was unlucky. Just sort of bobbled off the net the wrong way. Clunky back behind, really got hold of that, Abby Hinks on. So quick to close this down. Stuck that away.
all the time, breaking to the front for the first time in the match. All the applause from next door as Wang and Huang get their mixed doubles campaign underway. Chinese delight, inflatable clappers to the max. Well taken. Quick to close the net down, as always, is Ginting. He's a super athlete. <laughs> Misread the direction on coming from Ginting did have a Hinkson on them and just tried the sort of Billy Elliott maneuver here, <laughs> just trying to swivel around. Let's see it again if we can. That was a great get. This one here, he just thought it was coming to his forehand, not so. Hesitant there with his decision making, thought it was spilling long over the back line, but then uh, electing to play the shot. Two point lead for Ginting here as we head towards the turn. Again, a swing and a miss. We've seen a couple of points like that. Ginting heading to the mid-game interval then with a two-point advantage. 11 points to nine for the Indonesian. Indonesia's prime hopes for a title at this tournament, Anthony Ginty. Nicely done. Just saw Ginting retreating. The uh, drizzled straight net shot there. Wonderfully taken. Immaculate reverse slice from Ginting, shuttle died like a stone there. 12, 10. It's in. He's getting a lot of joy as Ginting when he spreads the court wide to the forehand side of the tie and then directs a lot of traffic into that backhand wing of Avahinsanon. 
lot of acknowledgement from Ginting to his coaching corner. If you caught that, he has a three-point lead now. Yep. Ty just reading that, pouncing Coming quickly. Over. leave it's been a very tight opener this one neither player engineering more than three consecutive points each Just missed. Deadlock again then in this very, very neck and neck opening game here. Show court two, sixth match of the day. We've got another six after this to bring you. Don't go anywhere. Do stay with us. Enjoying our continuing coverage here. Ginting unleashing the fury on that point. That was vicious acceleration. Take a look at this. Jump so high. Good elastic power from him. And he wants the court attendant his side of the net as well, please. Has a two-point lead, and he'll find that very comforting against this tricky Thai opponent in Avahinson on. Good attack from the tight. going to see it. another gear engaged from the higher ranked man in the red shirt from Indonesia. The 12th seed. That was such a tight net shot off the backhand wing from Ginting in timely manner.
Oh, he's missed it. That he could pay a heavy price for. There's a great dig here, lovely lift away. And he got a bit lucky with that one, did Ginting. Distance is Ava Hinkson on. Made it, found the back line. Sorry, over. 19, 17. It's got a wonderful sense of calm on court, really assured and very, very. High level of focus and calm. Super plate right at the body. Twenty game point seventeen. So three of them. Game points, that is. The Ginting now. He's really done well and managed his opponent very well here. That's gone wide, though. Detained for a while longer in this opening game. Well, Abby Hinkson on can't believe 19, it. 20. A little gung ho in that situation, and it could cost him <laughs> two unforced <laughs> errors from Ginting at the sharp end of this opening game. Abby Hinkson on still alive with his own surf to come. That's good, though. So Anthony Ginting secures the opening game. 21 points to 19. And a very watchable contest.
Play. Start of game number two then. First game to Ginting. Very close affair. 21-19 in the end. been turned around of the tournament and Ginting knows that thought the point was put to bed and suddenly had to scrabble he knows he should have put that to the deck didn't but have Hinkson on just missing that final smash get out of jail card there for Ginting Stopping the acceleration now, Ginting. Having managed to have the luxury of a chat to his coach at the change of ends. It seems to have served him well. Missed. He is thinking about a challenge. Yeah, he is. He's going to challenge. So, a challenge. Let's see what's going to happen here. It was very, very close, I have to say. Ginting drawing away, you sense. an authoritative dispatch from Abba Hinkson on. Coach is delighting there, and as he turned towards them, they were full of gesture and positivity. A little bit more leverage at 5 foot 11, this man, and Ginting. He's 5 7.
Chelsea down. Well, in keeping with the opening game, this one very, very tight all the way. Just 16 spots between them on the world ranking list. Ginting at 12. Supan, you have a Hinkson on at 28. And he's playing some of his best. Badminton is that a Hinkson on. Just two five. spots off his career. High Ginting, just three off of his as well. So both men in fine form. Mesmerizing speed to the net there from Anthony Sinsnuka. Ginting, so quick to close this down. Look at this. And he manages to take the shuffle so high as a consequence of that foot speed. It again, top draw response. Pleased Ten, with himself, five. judging by the reaction. So, a five point lead here. Can he play more expansively as a consequence of this? So 11-6, mid-game interval advantage for Anthony Ginting. And the driving seat for this one yet again, despite spirited fight from the Thai player. So you can kind of sense the main thing that's happened out here from Ginting is he's really, really got physical and he's asked a lot of his legs that are fully warmed up now and he's taking time and space away from the taller Thai athlete. One plays the winner of Kanta Suneyama and Gogoli Klaus, Japanese uh, Hungarian match that we'll be bringing you later on this court. <laughs> Super finish to a well engineered point from Ginting.
four in a row for the Indonesian now. run of points halted by this man at four for Ginti. So can have a hint someone the time Shuffler turn this around. Oh. That's a fine body shot. Respectfully uh, acknowledges the fact that perhaps it was a little untoward, but it's all fair, but I think he was a little anxious because it hit him on the head. Mercifully, not in the eye. So, it's a sweat-laden court because both men working so hard out here on show court two. There's plenty of noise from the adjacent court one with the mixed doubles unfolding, Wang and Huang of China. Locked in. Two all deciding game. He's taking control of the match from the net, has Ginty. That's long. Consecutive points there. I think it's on now. Is it the bridge too far though for the time? Three in a row, maybe not. Ten, sixteen. Consecutive points now in favour of Abahinksonon, but still trailing on the scoreboard. with a very purposeful, business-like performance. Just a, a couple of minor lapses along the way so far in terms of unforced errors, but nothing too quantifiable for his opponent. And Ava Hinksonon has been had to work very, very hard today to stay with this man who has been pretty 
dependable on his opening performance here in Nanjing. Of course, it's only the first round of the main course, so you kind of can forgive any of a few on course errors, that's for sure. In the opener. Players take a while to settle. That's understandable. Even the very best in the world. Each of these halls, depending on size and breeze and how many doors they have and all the heat and what have you, and air con, uh, they all vary in subtle drift elements. Tweener didn't come off. Well played, Aberhingson on. He's still trying his heart out here to nibble away at the lead that Ginting has. Seven of them, match points that is, for Anthony Ginting of Indonesia. A little blasé with the attempted finish there, but he still has leeway. There it is, Anthony Ginting safely through then to round two in Nanjing. 21-19, 21-14 in 40 minutes played. The 12th seed secures a berth in round two. With a pretty solid showing. I hope you all agree. So the man who knocked down the top ten door back in February of this year just three spots off of that career high of ninth in the world safely through in straight games then 21 19 21 14 ginting home and dry don't go anywhere we'll be bringing you women's doubles up next paul hand says goodbye i'm going to hand over the microphone to my dear friend charmaine reed so uh, i will speak to you tomorrow